Hey guys, this is Loud Boy. Welcome back to our Ocarina of Time. This is episode eight, and we're in the Forest Temple this time. And we're going to meet the Poe sisters with names like Joelle, Amy, Beth, Meg. Sounds like a bad sitcom, but really it's just a mini boss. The real boss is right around the corner, and we're going to beat him too. Let me just say it's not Ganon. So anyway, guys, this is Loud Boy. Thanks for joining me. Let's have some fun. I'm very excited to be doing this. The Forest Temple. And here we go. We are right outside the Forest Temple. Right off the bat, there's going to be two adversaries that we face. They're not too hard to handle. If you wait for the opening, we can take them out. Yeah, but we'll see, right? <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, so wait till they swipe like that. Lock on. Any good forward motion stab takes him out. All right, now that we have the hook shot, we can do some great stuff. Aim it right at the wall, and then you can climb on up. The hook shot will actually bring you up part of the distance of the wall. Right above our heads, check it out, guys. Gold Skulltella. Another excellent advantage of the hook shot. So now that we're up here, take out our hook shot. Aim it at our friendly neighborhood spider. After you knock it out and kill it, do not move and you shoot again and then it'll bring it right to you. It's a beautiful thing. And it's a, you know, it's a lot like the uh, boomerang. But uh, I, I like it a lot better. All right, so I'm venturing out here because right across the way, see that little chest over there? Yeah, that has the first key, and there are so many in this dungeon. Get into this one. Maybe center up a little bit. Oh, I could have used it. Okay, you know what? And there we go. Small key. So there's our first one. After we get that, do a, if you press forward on your control stick there, uh, you can do a forward roll if you know if the drop isn't too far. Another great thing with the hook shot, taking these guys out. No longer is their armor plating an issue. As an arachnophobic, yeah, I like killing those guys. It's very satisfying. Oh, here we go. Right away, we are introduced to the four mini-bosses of this dungeon. It does have a separate big bad boss um, with a really interesting uh, battle mechanics that comes with him. But right, So basically, they go off hiding, and our job is to find them along the way, along with everything else. Now, going straight across, we're head actually headed north, right up on this wall is another one. Hello. Oh, we got another one. Okay. Yeah, these guys are always fun. Help if I put my shield up, right? Wait till they're about to attack. Get a good hit in on them. That's how you do it. Not my best showing there. Oh, 
What's going to be in the chest? Let's find out. Ah, okay, yes. Second small key. Alright, that's two. I'm hoping... Oh, is that a fairy? Don't... No, no, I didn't want to use it. I was going to get my bottle out. Oh, man. I could have captured that in my bottle. How many do I have right now? Yeah, that would have given me a three. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. I always hate missing those. Especially when I'm all... Especially when I uh, am maxed out on hearts. You know, <laughs> to, to miss uh, putting a fairy in a bottle. Very frustrating. Okay, back out in the main room. One of these corners has, I think it's this corner. Yep. You guys remember what to do here? We need the Song of Time. And me and my fantastic memory, I don't have it memorized. So let's go grab it. It's right a down, right a down. Here we go. So by playing this, this Song of Time in front of a time block, that block is actually moved, revealing a door through which we can enter. Yes. Alright, really? Hey, these guys are so simple, and yet I don't, I just, um, yeah, always something happens. It's just ridiculous. It's the way they move. It's very uh, unpredictable, like that. Very frustrating. Come on, here, get your get your shield up, dude. There we go. Took care of him. All right, now that we've got taken care of him, we're gonna go over to this wall over here, where there are vines. Of course, this wall has some creepy crawlies on it. Z targeting will help with these guys. Thank you for the heart. Oh yeah, that's what I get. I don't think my hookshot will reach that, will it? I'm trying to remember. Okay, well. Now, hopefully we can have a uh, unobstructed path. Of course, there is that guy right there, but sometimes you can risk it. Yeah. Man, I hate spiders. <laughs> a little, a little known fact about me. Oh. guys are frustrating too you know it's just the movements right not very conducive to uh using a sword i know you should adjust and work right but uh anyway I, there's so many things in this dungeon that frustrate me to no end uh those being one of them all right what do we have and we have a dungeon map sweet is we we've gone out that door onto one of these balconies and right over here if you hook shot over you'll trigger a switch and now we can actually go down the well 
that we just emptied. And here we go. Roll. Yep. And run, run, run. Oh, why'd you have to touch me? You punk. All right, so this is actually a pretty deep well. Jumping down and just hoping for the best. I mean, if you don't mind losing a little bit of heart, sure. Other than that, take the stairs or take the ladder. All right. What this does is going down the well and along this long underground passageway connects the two sections. And there's also a, a key down here. I believe it's a key. Yep. That's our third key. If you look on the screen, right bottom left right there. Yep. That's our third key. Very good. All right. Now we're going to go back to the main room. Now keep in mind, we are exiting the well from the other side. However, everything connects to the main room. So, and there is a gold skull tunnel around here. I think it's back the other way. So, but we can we can get to the main room through here. Don't you touch me. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. Yep. We're going to head towards the west side of the main room. If I can get my bearing, I don't have the compass yet. Uh, get my get my bearings here. Yeah, let's see. I believe this is north. Yep, that's north. So we're gonna head through the west side. Yeah, and I, I've done it again. I've mixed up east and west. Oh, you guys, you guys don't want to know. Um, I grew up in the northeast. All right. I since have moved more west in the United States. Because of this, I grew up everything in my life, okay? I, I lived in Cape Cod, Massachusetts for a good majority of that point as I'm up in, the, in New England. And everything was west of me. Everything, okay? You name a city or a state, it was west of me. So therefore, the, my entire world was westward. Well, imagine then moving toward more towards the center of the, of the United States, okay? So... Memphis, Tennessee, for example, or, or Nashville, uh, even parts of Florida, were always west. Now they're east of me. And this has really messed up my internal compass. Like, in a way that's just ridiculous. And uh, we, we laugh about it. It's been many, many jokes made about it. Most of them from me. I, I realize what a weird... Um, what a weird thing it is to have this issue. So, yes, she is telling me that there are arrows painted on the walls. On the floor. <laughs> on the walls. Um, yeah, yeah, these arrows are actually kind of cool. There are these uh, giant bricks through here. There's one. Um, and we need to push these so that they, they then lock into place. And it, it's, a, it's a little, it's a puzzle. All right. One way to get to this first blue brick or blue green brick is to come around to this outside here and push. And by pushing this brick out into the hallway, if you will, we, you know, we're basically we're pushing it back toward where we just came. And I think I went a little too far. Yep. Um, we then have the ability. Am I lined up? Yeah, I think I am. Cool. Um, to push it down the way we just came and lock it into place. And then this blue, I'm calling it a brick, stone, um, then becomes a, uh, something that we can climb to actually get through this section of the dungeon. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so now if we push in this direction. Let me, I remember doing this the first couple times. Uh, it, it, it was, yeah, you hear that? Yeah, that's telling us, yeah, you did something right. Oh, it's a good day when you actually do something right, right, guys? Uh, anyway, all right, so there's one. Now, there should be a, yeah, a reddish color one. Same thing applies here. I'm trying to remember, the, it needs to be in this place. That's right, we need to go back down. There was a ladder down there, did you guys see it? Okay. Um... 
if you didn't, that's cool. I'll show you. You're here. This ladder gets us up sort of the back way on the other side of the red stone. So, da, 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 da. let's find it here. Okay, there he went. Oh yeah, we're, we're really doing well. That's a, a little mistake, uh, easily fixed, but uh, sorry. <laughs> so, remember, you didn't come here for perfection. But I, I do love hanging out. All right, so ladder, ladder. Up we climb. Okay, I can't remember. Do I drop down? Oh, where do I go out here? I, okay, at least I didn't fall that time. All right, that's clearly not the way. I've done it again. Pushing, we're pushing. That is a weird reference to some sitcom thing. I'm filing, I'm fine. I can't remember what it was. Alright, oh. When you re reach the end, come back out. Back out. Let's see. Yes. I believe down the ladder. And then. I'm figuring out, I'm doing this all in real time, guys. F partly from memory, partly from like, uh, let's hope it's the right way. Ah, hello. Um, yes, when you see that arrow pointing in the direction in which you're pushing, you know your money, right? It's like, it's a good day. And there's our, there's our little chime. Success. All right, puzzle accomplished. Nice. Okay. All right, there's our ladder. Beautiful. We are. This is basically a way to ascend to the next floor. Okay, built-in little uh, brick puzzle. Oh, here we go. We do have three keys, and this is why we got three of them right off the bat. So we can just go through and unlock doors. Would you get away from me? I don't feel like messing with those guys. Ah, yes, love this place. This. This corridor is all twisted. Yes, thank you. Always helpful. Always. And pointing out the obvious. All right. So basically, there are... She's referring to... Uh, one of the... Uh, what are they? Like-likes? No. Um, don't you fall. Um, it, it's this giant hand thing. That grabs you and pulls you off into oblivion. Yeah, there it is. I did not mean to fall, so... Believe me, if there's a mistake to be made, I'll make it. Oh, key number three, door number three. All right, we are getting closer. See this right here? That is a blank painting. There are three. Aha, hello. Oh, she disappeared. Ooh, spooky. All right. So basically, yes, that's one of the uh, spooky ghost sisters. And we will eventually take them out. We need the fairy bow first. Oh, spoiler alert. Oh, I can't stand these guys. All right. The, the trick here is if you try to beat them one at a time, um, they will regenerate. Okay. And it's very frustrating. I'm just avoiding them for now. They will regenerate and keep coming back and keep coming back one after the, you know, you kill one and the other one stays alive. You need to do it as a, as a group. Crap. So. All right, I need, I need some hearts. I, I'm, I'm talking so much that I'm not doing my job and. All right. So the gist is that you go back and forth, okay? That's uh, that's the trick. That way you can kill them both in like a certain amount of time. That's preferable. All right, this. Oh, here's his friend. Oh, okay. Here, 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 here are the twinsies. All right, here we go. All right, where's the other one? 
So switching to the other one. I want a good good hit on this one. Alright, and switching to this one. And switching to this one. You, you get the gist. I won't keep saying that. Oh, okay. man, I was hoping he wasn't taking me out with that hit. It takes a little while. Now, fairy, bring me back. Can't stand that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, see what it did? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we got them in the allotted time. And guess what? We ended up getting both. Nice. All right. This, I believe, is the compass. No, or it's the fairy boat. It's one or the other. We finally have a bow and arrow. These are crucial in taking out the mini boss. All right, so item select screens. Let's go map it. I'm gonna put it here. Is that where I like it? Yeah. Cool. All right, so now we have a fairy bow and you can take it out, check it out. You can point, you can aim. We're about to do some of that, so it's it's coming. All right, no more. Okay, let's not get turned around here. Uh, there is a switch that looked like an eye at the top of the room where we moved the bricks. And it makes me wonder if I could just take her out now. Basically, lock onto her. You can keep your bow trained most of the time. Release when you actually get a shot. She has to appear first. I think it's I think it's like four hits. Uh, anyway, lock on, bow out, arrow drawn. It's five. I've got another small key. Pretty sure these are empty, yeah. Because I used them before. Unfortunately, they do not regenerate like the fast-growing grass. However, I did not get these. I'll take some arrows, thank you. A fairy would be lovely. Yeah, thank you. No such luck that time. 
Uh, Alright, that, that's the one with the key. Yeah, we were supposed to go back to the other room. My bad. Okay. I know we have a key already, but I just didn't want to get out of order here. So, we're going to backtrack. This room can actually be a little bit confusing. Uh, the, the two different hallways, sets of stairs, and so on. So, going back this way, this is where we uh, just shot the paintings for uh, that first ghost. All right. Now, jump, turn, jump. There's our twisty hallway. You might ask, what's the deal with this? How can we, how can we deal with this? Well, I'll show you. Now that we have the bow, oh, it's, uh, I just want to avoid these guys. Okay. Now that we have the bow, we can shoot the eye with the arrow. I said shoot the eye with the arrow. Okay. Embarrassing. There we go. And once you actually make the shot, that twists and untwists that hallway. Now it's just a straight up hallway. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually jump down and look at that. That, my friends, is a boss key. Yeah, you can actually get it pretty early on in this dungeon. Well, I don't, we don't even have the compass yet. Uh, but yeah, you can actually get that here. This is what I was talking about here. Oh, come on. Uh, seriously, I can't stand these guys. So frustrating. I'm trying to remember if I can shoot him with an arrow or not. They always embarrass the crap out of me. Okay. Yep. That's it for that room. Alright guys, we're out on a ledge over the courtyard where we were before. And if we're real careful here... We can get some recovery hearts. And do you hear what I hear? Yes, I do hear it. I hear a, There it is, a Skultala. I can actually hit the thing. Come on down. All right, so there's another one hiding up there. Now again, carefully. Because it stinks to have to fall. There we go. Now, I'm going to take out some Deku seeds here. I think they could be helpful. Thank you, sir. Alright, in the second alcove, and he's back. Oh, th thanks for hitting me. Alright. In this room right here, we have what's called a floor master. That's right, a floor master. And then they break apart into three little guys, as you can see. And I, wa I wanted to take them out, of course, with one spin move, but it didn't quite work out. But, you know, that's, that's the luck. All right, so that should give us another key. Nice. All right, that gives us two keys. Very good. From here, we're going to head this way. This is a familiar room where we were before, actually. Let's take a look around. This is that room that came off the hallway, which came off the main room. And there is a nice little token surprise up there. But what we're going to do is, meaning there's a chest with a, a, uh, some arrows in it. If you hit one of those eyes with your, with your bow. But if we make our way, uh, if I could actually 
stop auto jumping off of every surface. Uh, if we make our way to the top, up the blue and then red bricks or stones, these are the ones, of course, that we just moved into place. Up the ladder. Now, remember that twisty hallway? Well, it became. Oh, I hate these guys. But we've been over that. Uh, it became all twisted up or untwisted by shooting the eye, which allowed us to get the boss key and drop down. Now, we shoot it again, and it goes back to the way it was. So what this does is, it also allows you to have a rotated perspective on this room right here. Okay? And of course, we've already taken out this ghost witch lady. And that's why the flame is now lit. But if we head back to the other side, I don't think these have regenerated. No, okay. Um, back to the other side, there was another one over there. Okay, and we can actually take her out now. Now the trick is, the second that apparition in the painting, yep, you just saw it there, she was there. When, the second she gets eye of you, she gets, you know, a, and there's one. A glimpse of you. Okay. She's gonna go back and forth now. So the trick is to get a perspective in which she can't see you, but you can see her. Normally some kind of weird angle. No, nope. okay. She's hiding in the bottom one. A little bit over. After you get two, the third one's easy. She has nowhere to hide. Hello. And then she comes out to play. And we will oblige her. Alright, so. Let's go find this and take her out. Well, she does it. You know, she spins around. She does her little move. Just stay locked on her. I believe last time it took five. So there's two. Three to go. there. Don't think there are any yet. And one more to go. Come on, lady. I say lady. Ha! Very nice. Oh my, is this the, uh, the long elusive this, this is such a weird dungeon. Yeah. You'll see. You will see, right? Like I was saying, weird, right? We're deep into this whole process. We've gone to many places, gotten many things, and fought a bunch of enemies, and then yet we just now get the compass. So weird. Anyway, but yeah, that's the forest temple for you. That's just how it is.
Okay, we're gonna head up. I might check... Yeah, let, let's check our map real quick here. Okay, good. If you uh, check out the map, you see the glowing, uh, pulsating between red and kind of a greenish color. Um, th that's where we are. And then you can see the outline of a mirrored section to what we'll call the left side of the map. Well, this is an unexplored area. And of course, you might know this, you might not, but I just wanted to make sure that we are heading in the right direction and that I'm not getting turned around too much as can happen because both of these corridors and stairs look the very same. All right, yeah, we have two keys. Let's use one of them. All right, and here we go. So what we do in this one is, and she's uh, warning us of the monster from the ceiling. All right, the trick is to either jump across or jump down like I just did and, uh, and climb up the ladder. Either way, getting to this side of the room and very similar hallway, right? Oh, I didn't see him, I was blocking my own camera. Um, ah, yes, so here we go. I can't remember, did we get Din's fire yet? I think we did. Good. All right. So in this room, oh, it's so annoying. I, I could use a heart right now. Mm. I, hey, there is something down there. Uh, that's what I was, I was looking around to see. Oh, we, oh, thank you. Oh, I can't stand that beeping. All right. Now that we have that heart, let's make our way back up. Let's see, where's our ladder? There it is. All right. There's a couple ways to do this. One way is to ride these rotating platforms, shoot an arrow through the center flame, or you can take the easy way out, which we're about to do, and simply come in here, map your dense fire, and use it. This will melt away and actually, I believe, also trigger the switch. Nice. So that is the switch for the twisty, non-twisty hallway. Now, there is no graceful way to get back there, meaning that I mean, there's no ladder, so you actually have to not do what I just did. Good job. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, let's, uh, let's try this again. Jumping out of the pillars, we, we simply take a ride around the room. Meanwhile, I'm looking for some more clay pots. I don't see any. Okay. We got what we could. Now this hallway, avoiding these guys to the best of my ability, is uh, twisted. We simply need to drop down this hole. To the famous checkerboard room. I believe there is something up here. Yeah, that's right. We might get that later. So back to the checkerboard room. In this room, it can be kind of tricky. Let's yeah, okay, let, let's uh, let Navi warn me first. Here we go. I'm trying to make the whole ceiling trigger. Come on, come on down. I can't believe it's taking this time like this. And that's what I was afraid of. To the switch, to the switch, to the switch. Ooh, yeah. 
Just barely made it. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, I mean, I used to be a lot more careful <laughs> with this room. But these days, thank you for the arrows, uh, I just go for it. Like you saw, I just blitz my way through. Yeah, this puzzle, this puzzle can be kind of maddening sometimes. All right, this is the third? I, I lost track. Uh, so here's the gist, okay? There's the painting. When these fall, you then have to arrange this cubed puzzle in a certain amount of time. Not like that. Um, yeah, the second you start like pushing it instead of pulling or or climbing up on top of them, uh, it's over because you know you, you'll run out of time real quick. Uh, unfortunately, it will, it will reset, which is a comfort. But sometimes there's just not enough time, uh, logistically, like, with just the physics of the room and how long it takes things to be pushed from one place to another. I'm gonna try, and if it doesn't work, we'll reset it. And that's the beauty, you know, it resets, but, um, yeah, this could be really tight. Really tight. I don't think it's gonna be possible this time. Nope, <laughs> not with climbing up like that. Okay. We shall do this again. I mean, sometimes they're so far apart, and what it is is the puzzle. Okay, to solve it, there are four pieces. Well, guess what? They give you a total of five. So one of them's just just a junk piece, and which is really, real pain in the butt. So uh, because sometimes that piece is completely in the way of moving the others to where they need to go. So that being said. I'm gonna give this a try anyway. This is our junk piece. Okay. Still 42 seconds. We're gonna try, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Man, it's always like barely in the nick of time when I get this. There might be enough time. I have to pull that one out and push it over. So, let's give it a try. Good, and go, 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 go. There it is. After that, yeah, great. Thanks for hitting me. Um, after that, she's just like the others. Shoot her when you can, lock on, have your bow ready. Oh, I need some hearts. I abhor that sound. <laughs> come on, sister. I dare you. Come on, sister. Nice. All right. She has been vanquished. Thank you. Any more arrows I can collect? All right, please, hearts. Give me some hearts. Thank you. I'll take the arrows as well. Any, anything else? Is there something right there? Nope. All right, we're out of here. Remember, hookshot, right to the, I guess, face. Another arachnid dead, it's a good day. All right, I believe what happens is this room empties out right on this balcony. Okay, check it out. Now that we have three of them, there is a crying fourth right here in the middle. Kind of funny. Yeah, so she's crying in the middle, and what happens is, you'll see, then there's a way to defeat them. 
they they show their hand real quickly, but let, let's find out what's hap what happens. All right, it's on. So I find it really helpful to kind of get over in these more open areas. Now, which one is which, right? One of these is the fourth. Aha! You see that? And I messed up already. All right, the one who's the fourth will turn. Okay, that's how that's how she shows her hand. And and then when you do find her, the one that turns out of the four, you sink an arrow into her. And I'm, no, okay, I went, went wrong one. Excuse me. I said, no, I said, excuse me. All right, you get, all right, you gonna try it again? And there's our lovely sound. I need to get some hearts. And that drives me insane. Okay, face the direction and shoot. Thank you. Hold on. Link needs a break. Alright, got me a heart. Thank you. And back to the action. Here we go. Face her direction. Pull out your bow. Peg her right in the face with an arrow. Nice. And a couple more hits. One or two. And face her direction. Pull out your bow. Fuck a boom. That's right, sister. All right. Count them up. That's four. Where'd those arrows go? Give me that. Thank you. All right. Count them up. One, two, three, four. Purple, blue, fire color, orange, and green. All right. So now, out of the floor, since the first time we came to this temple revealed to us is this elevator. Guess what? Going down, Link? Alright. Another puzzle awaits us. In this area, there's a couple switches. A couple different kinds of switches. So, one of the, I believe we go counterclockwise again. As usual, doing this all from memory. Let's give it a good push and find out, shall we? All right. Let's see. What is this? Oh. Okay, so there, there's a switch revealed to us. Take it. That opened up one of the gates. Now, when you're, when you're in these little sub-rooms, look up. Above the mantle or above the doorway through which you came. Because hiding up there... In one of these little alcove rooms is a switch, right? And if you're not looking for it, you could drive yourself insane. Um, anyway, you just you know, just have to know it's there. Um, spoiler alert! All right, here we go. So, let's see what else. Ah, this is opened up now. This will open up another gate. Just to be thorough, even though I don't think it's there. Yep, not there. I use my hookshot to look around. By the way, it's great tool for that. All right. Pushy push. All right, Link. What are we going to find, bro? Let's see. All right. That one's sealed. Basically, yeah. The way will be straight. Aha. Uh -huh. Hello. What if I kill you? And I hear the dulcet tones of one of our friends up here. No, I want a hook shot. I don't want to waste an arrow on that. By the way, I think I missed a Skulltella. Um, where was it? It was... Seriously? Lock on. There we go. Um, I forgot. It was in one of the rooms that we were in not too long ago. I think I forget to get... Oh, well. Not exactly a perfect completionist this time, but... Uh, but we've gotten really far. Because remember, early on, we got right there on the screen the big key or the boss key 
and we are actually headed toward that now. I believe it's probably one more push, right? Yeah, that's where we just were, yep. Okay, one more push. Again, counterclockwise with this room. Yeah, and I believe it's down this blue carpet. So we need to open up a pathway that'll actually go down this blue carpet. Because, what you know, we're spinning the entire room uh, when we push on this. So just sweeping around the room for fun. Aha. Okay. Sealed off again. Or perhaps for this whole time. That opened up the gate, which is directly in front of us. And again, following the blue carpet. Straight ahead. I like the looks of that right there. Okay, so from here, we head up in. It looks like nothing's going on, right? We're surrounded by paintings. But when we head back... Uh-oh. It's a trap! Is it Ganon? <laughs> Not quite. That's his better looking brother. Alright, so... The trick here is that when you stay on the outside of, of this ring, or this octagonal space... You can avoid the lightning by staying on the very outside. Two Phantom Ganons will come toward the paintings trying to come out. The one that looks brighter is the one that you need to hit when you go in here. Like that. So, you just, you have to, alright, I like the one on the right. Missed. Get to the outside, okay. After you hit the Phantom Ganons coming out of the paintings, we can move on to the next phase of this battle. And I like this one right here. There we go. This is all about him throwing electricity our way, and we have to volley it back to him. I almost want him to take it because I cannot stand that sound. Yeah. At least we won't have to listen to that anymore. My controller's like vibrating uncontrollably here. And here we go again. Whoops. 
timing's off. Okay. Let's get a little further back. Always remember your heart piece. I remember in one of the levels of Skyward Sword, I accidentally left without getting my heart. I was so, I was so ticked off and like just upset with myself. However, I was able to find my way back there to the place in which I fought the bad guy and it was waiting for me. So that was really cool. I, I'm not sure if I could do that with this game, but uh, that, was, uh, that was a nice little moment. All right, here we go. Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Sarah, sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would become, because I know you. No, you don't have to explain it to me, because it is destiny that you and I cannot live in the same world. I will stay here as a forest sage and help you. Now, please take this medallion. the forest medallion. Sarah awakes as a sage and her adds her power to yours. Sarah will always be your friend. Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Sarah broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokori never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you are not a Kakuri. You are actually Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified the country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered the Forbidden Forest. The mother was gravely injured. 
Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was the child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world. So he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokuri. And now, finally, the day of destiny has come. You are Hylian, and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all the temples and return peace to Hyrule. And that we shall. Alright, little guy. Nice to meet you, dude. He's so cute. Of course, his, uh, his father, if you will, has passed away and is right there. So there you have it. That was the Forest Temple. Next up, I believe we have the Fire Temple and the Water Temple. Also, pretty pretty big challenge, especially compared to those initial temples from when we were kids. Um, however, Link is growing stronger and braver and more agile with every dungeon and temple, so uh, he's going he's gonna to definitely rise to the challenge. <clears throat> so this has been fantastic. I thank you guys. Oh, our trusty steed is waiting for us. And with that, Epona and I are going to ride off into Hyrule Field. Until next time, guys, as always, I thank you so much. Please uh, like and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and uh, I cannot thank you enough for joining me for this epic adventure, this amazing story. It's, um, it's truly an honor to have you guys here. And until next time, guys, this is Loudboy, signing off, and I thank you guys so much. You guys have a blessed day. <laughs>